My name is Debbie and I'm a registered nurse. So when I was in middle school I started wearing glasses and eventually I moved into contacts pretty quickly. It's just I was really active as a child and I liked to participate in a lot of things and the glasses got in the way quite a bit. And so eventually as I got older I started to become contact intolerant. When I would blink they would fall out and actually when I would put them in my eye would reject them. Like usually when you put a contact in your eye you're supposed to look down and blink a couple of times for it to adjust and we'd get ready in the morning and I'd wash my hands and get everything laid out and I'd get my contact out and put it in, instantly it would start watering and it wouldn't stop and you could see all the red veins throughout my eye and it was a really stressful time because of my occupation. Glasses get in the way when you're leaning over constantly over patients. They weren't staying on my face correctly and they would fall off. I constantly dealt with dry eyes from the contacts and had to put multiple drops in my eyes throughout the night at the hospital which is very difficult to be able to take the minute to step aside and wash your hands to be able to apply your eye drops and then re-sanitize and wash again to be able to resume patient care. I had to stop picking certain shifts in the night because I noticed that my eyes would get tired towards the evening and they would react even more towards the contacts. I just started to alternate between contacts and glasses. The contacts used to last me anywhere between 8 to 12 hours in the day and it got to where I was wearing them for only about 4 hours a day. It took about 6 to 7 months of doing that juggling act where I finally decided that I had had enough. I think the first thing that I was really hoping for was just relief. I kept researching it and weighing the pros and the cons and I decided to come in and actually schedule an appointment. It was actually my conversations with Gina. I called the first time and had a conversation with her about LASIK surgery and my schedule as a nurse is just insane. Gina was very willing to help me find a time that I could come in and actually chat with them and they were very patient through every single step of the process. They took the time to actually listen and walk through it all, including Dr. Haynes. They just helped me the whole time with being very calm and patient and caring and you say in healthcare that you want to treat everybody like you would treat a family member. That's not always the case throughout any type of the medical field. And it very much felt like it would have been how they would have treated one of their loved ones through the entire process. After the surgery, there were two parts of it that were really exciting for me. Uh, one of them was the next morning after having the procedure done, I could see my alarm clock for the first time without fumbling around and trying to find my glasses on the nightstand or having to walk to the bathroom and play with the contacts that didn't want to cooperate. And then rolling over from looking at my alarm clock to see my partner was, it was amazing to see his face for the first time. And so just waking up that first morning and looking at the alarm clock and then rolling over and seeing him, it was, it was really nice.